You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome to our continuing coverage of 2015's CES Live. We've got a big show. We I'm do. John P. I'm Georgia. Uh, exciting stuff. Very exciting. I can't wait. I am also super excited because our next guest, Chuck, is actually from one of my favorite companies anywhere, Canon. I'm so we, excited to be here to get to see this. We have so much Canon stuff, Chuck. It's just, it should be illegal, okay? <laughs> We're, all of our stuff here is being filmed with Canon. All of our on the go, run and gun stuff is Canon. I shoot Canon cameras. Everybody knows it. We just love Canon. So well, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having us here. It's really a pleasure to be here. So it looks like you've brought a couple of goodies for us. I see a new camera but I also see something completely foreign that I know nothing about. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, uh, step forward just a little bit this way. Okay. Is that better, Dave? Cool, cool. We're introducing actually here at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2015, we've got a total of five new PowerShot cameras that are coming out and also three new Bixia camcorders, but the big news is our new Connect Station CS100 which is the small box that you see right here. Huh. I see. And uh, the nice feature on uh, most of the new cameras, including this new PowerShot SX610 that I have in front of me, uh -huh. is that it adds in the new Active Tag NFC, or Near Field Communications. And what so does that mean? I'm all so that means, Active Tag NFC. All that really means is that now, after you take pictures, you can actually transfer your images wirelessly <gasps> into your television. Oh, I love that. I love that, because I always lose my little SD card or I'm looking for cables and cords and I'm like, I just wish that it would just do it when I'd arrive and I wouldn't have to worry about finding everything and getting my photos off of my camera. Well, right, and, and we also wanted to uh, make this device as full featured as possible, but also as simple as possible to use. And that's where the Active Tag NFC really helps because now you don't really even have to know anything about it. You just hold the camera next to the box and it automatically grabs the images and then shows them on screen. Really? How fast is it though? Uh, well, it uses Wi-Fi 802.11n so that generally will get you an image, uh, out, you know, one image out of the camera in less than 10 seconds. So let's say if, uh, uh, and you're saying this particular camera, the SX610HS, has it built in? Right, it has the Active Tag NFC and the Wi-Fi built in. Now the NFC, basically what that does, it's a handshake it's between uh, the camera and the storage device. And then once the handshake has set up the communication between those two, the Wi-Fi takes over and it actually transmits the images wirelessly, oh, wirelessly from the camera to the storage. Basically point to point wireless to it? Right, and it also has ability to act as a web host, so if you don't have the latest Canon camera, maybe you do have your iPhone or your Android, uh, you know, your smartphone or your tablet, and essentially you can come in as a, in, into the browser from you know from your browser on your device and be able to get your images into the storage device that way as well. Oh, cool. Okay, so for, let me see if I've got this right. For example, with that camera, we could snap a whole bunch of pictures of everybody here, then we could lay it on this little magical black box, and it will transfer them into it and then from there we can have that displayed on the TV. Right, and actually what I have over on the other screen here that uh, I'm not sure if everybody can see, but basically it is oh, the menu. Oh, he's got it right there. Um, that shows essentially what the, uh, the image uh, of the, uh, you know, the opening screen from the Connect Station. And in this case, we've actually already transferred a set of images wirelessly while we were talking. So we have images in the, the device right there, and you'll notice that new images received on the left-hand side with a little plus sign that oh, yeah. tells us that we do have images. And what I do at that point is I just use my wireless remote, and I come down to make sure that uh, I can get uh, into the new images received, hit the set button, and that's going to bring up the images that I just had there. So you'll notice that they're highlighted on the left, and as I hit the set button, now I can get a little bit closer look. And uh, then I can actually uh, go, maybe I'll start at the beginning here, and run a big screen image. 
uh, that will basically uh, automatically go into a slideshow if you just leave it set on the defaults where it will automatically transition. Like every so many seconds or whatever, it just goes to the next one. And it's programmable. Yeah. Um, you can even have background music that uh, is supplied with the machine. So if you'd like to have a soundtrack to your slideshow, it's right there. Um, you can organize your photos automatically. So in other words, uh, it, you know, even without you doing anything, it's going to organize them according to the shooting date. And it also can organize them according to the camera that you used. So if you want to look through on the menu, you'll be able to pick the images that you want and make your own photo albums or share them uh, with your social media or print them if you have a connected printer. Nice, nice. So it's a, it's a very, very uh, full featured, but also it's a very simple device to use. So you're saying that if we put them into here, we could, for example, tweet them straight from here, like tweet them out or Instagram them out or something like that as well? Yeah, effectively what happens is that uh, you connect to your home network first. Mm -hmm. So you have like uh, your, your Wi-Fi router probably. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't have that, there is an ethernet port on the device here that you can connect to a wired router. Okay. Um, and once you are connected to your home network, then basically we provide a site on the web called the Canon Image Gateway. Mm -hmm. And that gives you free storage space, but it also has the ability to share your images simultaneously to your choice of any social network site. So you can go into Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you, you name it, it's basically right in front of you. YouTube, so videos as well? Absolutely, and that's one oh, of the things that we, we really are excited about is because with, uh, with the new cameras here, whether it's the camcorders or the power shots, they all support uh, full HD, and uh, that gives you a, a fantastic looking image that you can now enjoy on your television and share. Like, one of the things that we're really excited about is, is the idea that, uh, say for example, your extended family, maybe grandma lives across the other side of the country, you can uh, get a CS100 connect station installed in her home and have it automatically receive the images that you just took. Oh, so that's now she cool. can see the, uh, the pictures of uh, your daughter's recital uh, or maybe your son playing the soccer game on, uh, you know, for his high school. So it's just really a great way to be able to, uh, to share your images and enjoy them. So this is like your own personal cloud. Yeah, actually, uh, it, it is even going beyond that because uh, you know, it, of course, you have the connection to be able to store your images in the cloud. But now, without using a computer, you still you have the ability to go direct into your home television. So uh, it's really uh, kind of designed to give you your choice of weighing the way that you like to enjoy your photos. What is the storage on it? It has a one terabyte hard drive wow. built in. Huh. Um, and it has ability to back up that data so to an external drive, so you always will be safe about that part. Um, it's uh, it, it's going to be a two ninety nine price point, and it's going to be available by the month of June. Awesome. Well, I'm excited about it, and uh, you got me thinking because, for example, my mom is not super technically adept, you know, but she's always wanting me to keep up with her, um, keep up with what I'm doing and give her more updates, and I'm not very good at it, to be honest. But if I could have one of these, and she could have one, and I could just snap some pictures and lay my camera on it and just forget about it, and they could be replicated at her house, I think that would make her happy. Yeah, she'd just turn on the TV, yeah, and then she it would just, just play. Like, doing her thing, that would be good. Because right. you know, there's a lot of stuff, like personal stuff. I tweet and I share things socially, but not most of the personal stuff, you know. So, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, everybody that we're talking to in this audience is, has experienced the idea of a, uh, a photo album that like, uh, has been around for uh, decades. And, yeah. uh, you know, this is really the 21st century version. version yeah. uh, so, you know, why not take advantage of all the new technology and really uh, be able to enjoy your photos? You know, the one thing that, uh, that we've noticed, of course, is that uh, people have been satisfied uh, more and more with uh, small screens to look at their photos. I mean, you normally are going to do that, and it's, that's not going to go away. But why not also be able to take advantage of some of the things that you already own, like your yeah. HD set at your house, to exactly. really see what the pictures look like and how pretty they are. Mm -hmm. Cool, well thank you so much for bringing the new toys over to share with us. And you guys, thanks for sticking around to watch the show. We've got a lot more coverage coming out of CES here. So uh, stick in there, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>